What is up guys, Rick Hacks here going over the fact that pulse rifles in Destiny just plain suck. Now in this video I'm going to be comparing two guns, the pulse rifle time on target with the scout rifle another NITC. Now the time on target is actually one of my favorite guns. It was one of the first primary guns I acquired with the new 331 attack rating and so I quickly leveled it up and actually brought it into the end game content. I have brought this pulse rifle into the Crota fight several times and it has been very effective. It could function effectively in the absolute end game content. Now the reason I do enjoy this pulse rifle so much is because it has two upgrades to stability. One in the second choice of three and one right after that in the second perk. Now this makes this gun able to function almost like a scout rifle and get extremely long range kills. You'll see that I really do not recoil very much at all allowing me to most of the time shoot all three rounds into a head and get the maximum damage for a burst when talking about precision damage. Again, I like this gun. I used it all the time. The problem was I was then awarded another NITC and I saw just how uncompetitive this gun is compared to a random, remember, not upgraded scout rifle. Another NITC, the gameplay you're seeing, this scout rifle is only 283 attack compared to the 312 of time on target. Time on target should be substantially better. Now let's go over just pure math. The time on target does 304 damage for a critical shot. 304 times 3 rounds in a burst equals 912 damage for landing an entire burst on the head of an enemy. Now another NITC does just 820 damage for a single headshot. So an entire burst of time on target, which remember is upgraded to a higher attack, does less than 100 damage more than a single headshot from a single shot of another NITC. So the result is a random scout rifle has a much better damage per second than a almost fully upgraded pulse rifle. And if you just think about it, it holds true. An entire burst, like you're not talking about shots, an entire burst of the pulse rifle is what we're comparing here. So burst to burst to burst, there's only seven bursts in a magazine. So you're essentially having a scout rifle with barely more damage with only seven rounds in the magazine. And the time between full bursts is much higher than the time between individual shots of the scout rifle. So the scout rifle has 19 rounds in a magazine and substantially better fire rate and just barely less damage. So numerically you have the clear winner being the scout rifle. Now I know I'm going to get people in the comment section saying that pulse rifles are good, that they do well with pulse rifles and that pulse rifles require skill. Saying something requires skill is one of the most common phrases I hear. But here's the thing. Let's talk about Modern Warfare 2. Now, that kind of came out of nowhere, but back in the days of Modern Warfare 2, when CODs were good, I used to use the F-2000 a ton. I loved the F-2000. Heck, I got a nuke with the F-2000 silence. It was one of my favorite guns to use. I could absolutely wreck kids with it. But, if someone was to ask me if that gun was good, even though I did extremely well with it, even though I loved that gun, objectively, compared to the other guns, like the ACR, like the SCAR-H, I would have to say no, it's not competitive, and that I would recommend not using that gun. Just because you like a gun, just because you do well with a gun, does not mean that gun is good. Because if you were utilizing a better gun, you may be able to do even better, you just don't know, right? Like. I didn't know that the time on target was simply uncompetitive. I was under the impression it was a really, really good gun and that some pulse rifles could actually be pretty competitive until I got another NITC. And saying something requires skill actually is just kind of proving that it isn't that great of a gun. You're basically saying that only skilled players can utilize pulse rifles, whereas auto rifles are so good that they can be utilized by anyone. If a level 5 just starting the game can utilize an auto rifle with enough fervor to do well in the crucible, imagine if an extremely skilled player was utilizing that gun. 
There's a reason you never see anyone using pulse rifles. They are far and few between. Every once in a while, someone gets a red death from the nightfall and they want to try it out. But aside from that, you never see pulse rifles. They are simply uncompetitive. The damage needs to be drastically increased. And remember, the version I have has two increases to stability. So the vast majority of pulse rifles out there do not have one, let alone two increases to stability. So they are recoiling a lot more. For the amount of recoil you get from most scout rifles, they should be doing substantially more damage. They're just not competitive with auto rifles and scout rifles. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. And as always, have a good day.